Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the Mi 10T running on Android 13. Yes, Android 13 on this custom ROM called as Pixel Experience. You might have heard about it. Now I've had the Mi 10T for quite some time and this is still a very capable smartphone. And you know what's the best part about Mi 10T? There are a lot of custom ROMs available out there for this smartphone. And this ROM over here is a prime example of that. Android 13 Pixel Experience. Now I have been using this ROM on the Mi 10T for the past couple of days and I tweeted a photo about it which went viral. Like there were over 250k impressions on that tweet which is excellent. Like a lot of people are interested in Pixel Experience and yeah, it is a great experience with the Mi 10T. Here we go. This is the Mi 10T running on stock Android 13. It is running on the Pixel Experience ROM and the Android version is the latest one. Now, as always, we'll go into settings. I'll scroll down to about phone. We'll go to Android version. And as you can see, it is Android 13. Now, if I click over here, the Easter egg is the same. So yeah, it is Android 13. And I really like the fact that Pixel Experience is being fast at launching custom ROMs for such smartphones like the Mi 10T, which are a little bit older. So that is excellent. Now, in terms of features, you do get all the Android 13 features that is stock Android features. And you can see major improvements in terms of the performance of this ROM. Like the performance has been a major improvement as compared to previous versions. And the entire OS feels very, very smooth. So that has been the noticeable difference that is in terms of performance. I really like the smooth over here and talking about smoothness you can go into settings and then display and you do get refresh rate control so minimum refresh rate right now is 60 hertz and maximum refresh rate is 144 hertz that's what this smartphone supports 144 hertz i'll also enable tap to wake now pixel experience does not come with any additional features it is stock android and it is what you get you won't get any additional features on top of stock android it's like you know the vanilla android experience that google wants you to give with the pixel phones that's exactly what you get with this custom rom as far as camera application goes you get a very basic camera application with this ROM. It's not that good. It's very basic. That's why I would highly recommend you to go ahead and install Google camera. That's exactly what I have done over here. So this is the latest version of Google camera and it is working with this ROM. So I will make sure to drop a link to this Google camera in the description box below and you can go ahead and download it and you can download Google camera regardless of which ROM you have. Like even if you use MIUI, you can download this Google camera version. If you talk about sensors, all the sensors are working. So you will get access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all the other sensors. And yes, the speakers and microphone are working as well. This is still in the beta version, but everything is working as expected. And that is excellent. You also get themed icons and this time with Android 13 themed icons are better than ever. So if I go into wallpaper and style and select themed icons, you can see that some of the icons are themed and they work really well. Like Google has added support for more icons and now they look better than ever. Also material U is working very fine. I'll go to backdrops and change the wallpaper. Let me find a good one. All right. Let's take the set home screen and now the theming engine is much faster like all the colors changed very fast and it is a noticeable difference from Android 12. In Android 12 it would take a couple of seconds but right now it is extremely fast and even the themed icons changed very fast so that is again a noticeable difference. And Android 13 is more polished like I would say the entire experience of this ROM is more polished. And that's excellent. Now let me quickly switch off the themed icons. I do not prefer them, but if you do prefer them, then you can go ahead with them. As far as biometric authentication goes, the fingerprint sensor is working. Here we go. The fingerprint sensor is working absolutely fine. No issues with the fingerprint sensor whatsoever. And you can go ahead and use that. As far as face unlock goes, let me quickly check if face unlock is working. We'll go to security and nope, you do not get the option of face unlock with this ROM. So that's kind of a bummer. Face unlock would have been like the icing on the cake over here. All in all, Android 13 Pixel experience is a great experience on the Mi 10T. You can definitely go ahead and download this ROM. Now, a couple of things. Battery life with this ROM has been okay, okay. Not the best out there. It is still in the beta version. So maybe in the future versions, battery life will be better. Right now, it is okay, okay. So please make a note of that. Also, coming to the most common question, do bank 
banking applications like UPI applications work with this ROM. Yes, UPI applications do work with this ROM. And should you use them, it is safe. But if you have a lot of money in your bank account, then do not take the risk because money is involved. I do not want to give out any fake advice or wrong advice. If you have a lot of money, please keep it safe. Also, before installing any ROM, you need a couple of prerequisites. First up, you need to unlock the bootloader of your smartphone. And second up, you need a custom recovery installed like TWRP recovery. If you don't know how to do these things, then do not worry, I've got you covered. I'll drop links to articles and videos down in the description box below. And these will have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do these things, unlocking the bootloader and installing a custom recovery. And I'm working on a new video as well, which will guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how to do these things, like a 2022 version of these things. That video will be coming out very soon. If you want it sooner, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. If enough people want it, that will motivate me to make it soon. Overall, I would say Android 13 on Mi 10T has been an incredible experience. If you want to install this ROM on your Mi 10T, then you can definitely go ahead and do so. Like, just do it. You will love the experience of Pixel Experience. So anyway, that's been it. Do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.